Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a quick anatomy review of the extensor tendons and flexor tendons of the hand. And so this is uh, the extensor side, here's the palmar side, here are the flexor tendons, flexor compartment, and here are the extensor tendons. So we're going to start with the extensor tendons. I guess we'll start with the thumb. So the thumb has two extensor tendons. One is called the longest, of course, and one is the brevis. So the brevis is going to be over here. And we can think about Bruce Lee, brevis here. And the brevis is going to come along the radial side of the wrist. And you really can't tell it apart here from the abductor pollicis longus tendon. They look like one tendon complex. But they're going to come over here together. And then the abductor pollicis is going to end here um, before, I'm at the base of the proximal phalanx. And then the extensor pollicis brevis tendon is going to be right here all by itself. But it's going to be joined by this one over here, this is the longest. So remember Bruce Lee and the uh, brevis is going to be next to the abductor here. And then it's going to come out here. And now the longest is going to go over the top of these two, the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis tendons. These two are the extensor carpi radialis brothers there. And over the top, you really have a hard time seeing that. This is bad image quality on this one. And this is uh, kind of representative. A lot of times you just can't see they have motion or bad image quality. And so this reminds me of the most cases I see. But here it is coming across. And here it is going back. And watch it go over the top of them. And once it goes over the top, there's a muscle over here. So sometimes it's torn right over the top. Sometimes there's a tear in the muscle. But try to follow that over the top. Make sure there's not any fluid over there. And try to follow that across. And there you see it. So the uh, brevis and longus uh, extensor tendons of the thumb there. Now we have the other extensor tendons, a little more simple. We have just the single tendons. But the complicating thing is that it looks like there are multiple. It looks like there's two there, two here, maybe two here. And uh, so in the palm, I'm sorry, the uh, dorsal surface of the uh, hand, rather, um, they uh, are, it looks like a network. There's not just a single clean one. There's sometimes multiple, and they branch and come obliquely. But eventually, when they get into the digits, you have a single one, single one, single one. But if you follow it backwards over the top of the hand, you see that they branch and there's multiple areas of thickening so it can be difficult to say which one's torn so for example in this case they did have an injury someplace there it is right here this component is partially torn right there they had edema and hemorrhage around it but um, most of these things were just fine and so this is more of a network rather than a single one over the hand and then when you get to the digits then it becomes one. So a little confusing, but just look for one when you get to the fingers. And if you see some strangeness here, it's just the way this network is. There are areas of thickening. And now the flexor tendons, we have a single one to the thumb, the flexor pollicis. You can hardly see it here. This is the radial side of the carpal tunnel. You can see it there. But as it goes across through the thenar muscles, hard to see because of magic angle phenomenon, obliquity. And then the other ones we're going to see a superficial and deep with each digit except for the fifth here. And this is variable. So this is the uh, profundus and superficialis of the index finger, second one. Here's the third uh, flexure a digitorum a profundus tendon and superficialis. They should be nice and round and ovoid, look like little eggs. And you can see this one has lost some of its normal contour, the third one. So this is a very subtle partial tear. But you can see the superficialis is normal, and the profundus has a little tear. You see these two little tendons here? In between these are fragments that are torn off with these two digit, uh, profundus tendons. And so here's the fourth one. Here's the fourth finger. Um, and here we have the, or the fourth metacarpal. We have the uh, superficialis looking nice and beautiful round. And look at this one. It looks very bizarre. So we have a superficial tear of this that's stripped off. And then one of these two components is probably coming from this one, the other one from this one. So they have a rugby injury, and they flex their hand and, and you know, partially tore this uh, flexor digitorum profundus of the fourth. Now the last one is this fifth. So the fifth is variable. Sometimes you can't see that superficialis, and sometimes it's congenitally absent. And if we come more distantly here, you just see one. Here you say, hey, there's two, two, uh-oh, there's one. Maybe it's torn, but know that that can be variable, and sometimes it's very small, or if your image quality is not great it'll just look like there's one so you can relax on this one but the other ones you should see paired ones of the second third and fourth and that's it thank you very much